There's only a few more days before this giant art installation that I recently built is going to be complete. And I just wanted to walk you through a couple of my favorite lighting details. <coughs> so the first thing you'll notice is that when I lean back slowly for my perfect selfie, my face gets perfectly edge lit by two front lights and two side lights. We got orange on the right, blue on the back, and the best part about these two lights that are casting a glow on me is that they're barely visible from the perspective of the photographer. We took the biggest, fattest keyboards with an interesting shape that would have a slight lift so that there was only this little nook over here. The orange go and the green are also quite complementary, which works on the other side, similarly with the blue and the green. Every single concentric circle here has an LED strip that is hidden. When you look down, you'll see these LED strips that are lighting our entire installation, segment by segment by segment. And this lip is super important because it makes sure that from the front perspective, we don't actually see the direct light. And that creates the entire ambient glow, which I think is what really makes this whole thing super magical. My favorite part though are these integrated light tubes because they were actually built from scratch using upcycled acrylic that my dad and I spent a couple hours cutting, gluing, measuring, and piecing it together. And they're not perfect. Our lights work. But they do so much for the art installation. Another hidden gem of my art installation is what's gonna be happening in this back wall with a sound activated component that will sync to music and people, a big giant mirror is going to be here so that when people sit on the throne, look across, they can see themselves reflected in their own electronic waste. Favorite Easter egg in the whole piece is of course our call to action made from cables and gently illuminated with this tiny lip over here. And the reason for paying attention to so much of the lighting is so that it works across different camera devices that everybody can now become a professional photographer. And of course, I didn't do this all on my own. I have to thank Eclectic Design for preparing all the LED light strips for us, as well as Troy S, who stepped in to help us wire, program, and set everything up. One of the reasons that I've been able to imagine and conceptualize all the lighting for this art installation has been thanks to my background as a photographer. If you're also interested in seeing through the eyes of a photographer, I just wanted you to know about this amazing deal that is happening right now by Five Day Deal, which is offering thousands of dollars of products for just a few hundred bucks. They're actually the sponsor of all of this behind the scene content. And as a thank you for all of you who've made it this far, there is a link right there that you can click on that will enter you automatically into a thousand dollar camera draw. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and watching the process of this entire piece come to life, make sure you head over to 5daydeal.com so that you too can learn about how you can see the world through different eyes. Thank you and see y'all soon. Woo.